Welcome, Nick. Thank you for having me. Nick's here to talk about his experience developing a leading application, Messenger, for the Microsoft platform using Visual Studio. Nick, could you please give us a brief overview of Messenger? I'd love to. So Messenger is, the, is an application built by Facebook that allows people to communicate instantaneously with each other in a really rich and vibrant way. So sending photos, videos, using stickers and voice clips. Uh, we really want Messenger to be an instantaneous communication in the sense that if you're standing outside a cinema waiting for your friend to rock up, mm -hmm. you can send them a message and they'll respond immediately using this application. Not only that, but you'll also be able to see if they see the message uh, and you'll also be able to see some, something like the delivered state uh, of the message as well to make sure that it's actually on the other person's phone. Can you tell us a little bit how, about how you developed the application? Maybe some of the technologies that you used? Yeah. Uh, as you probably expect, we use Visual Studio as the IDE to develop mm -hmm. Messenger. Uh, along with Visual Studio, we use the emulator extensively. I find the emulator to be quite, quite excellent uh, to develop, and I don't have to use a device too often. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the additional technologies we use is ReSharper as a Visual Studio add-in that makes navigating files and refactoring code much faster. We also use the NuGet package manager uh, and a bunch of other things like the MV MVVM Lite library, yeah. uh, which allows us to abstract away the code logic, uh, the models from the, from the views. And we use the Nokia SDK for imaging, or the Nokia Imaging SDK. Uh, and that, that allows us to operate on, on photos, JPEGs, uh, do things like rotating really simply. So you said you love the emulator. What particular features do you like about it? So the main thing about the emulator that I like mm -hmm. is that it, it works very much like the phone. So if I'm developing for the emulator, I know it's going to work pretty much the same way on the phone. Mm -hmm. There are a few exceptions to that. Uh, when you're interacting with the hardware world, such as the camera or audio, or when you're wanting to see how the performance characteristics uh, actually work on the phone, it's mm -hmm. very different in that case. However, there are some really cool features you can only do in the emulator, such as there's the network conditions simulator in the emulator tools mm -hmm. that allow you to em emulate or simulate uh, lower network connections such as 2G and also lossy network connections where packages, packets are going missing. And that allows us to test out what Messenger actually operates like in a real world scenario where you don't have perfect Wi-Fi or 4G all the time. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about developing against the platform. Maybe some things you'd like to see in the future. So actually, I really like the Windows Phone platform. Mm -hmm. It's not fragmented. Uh, and by that, I mean when I develop for one phone using Silverlight 8.0 mm -hmm. or 8.1, it works on every phone the same way. Uh, there's very few exceptions to that. So that, that's, that, the API is quite powerful and, and consistent in that way. In addition to that, there's some cool new features that are coming out with the Windows Phone 8.1, or have come out with mm -hmm. Windows Phone 8.1, such as Fast App Resume. And so now we build both an 8.1 and an 8.0 application to take advantage of things like that. That means that we can get the application running much faster after the, the user is backed out. Uh, to do that, we've actually modified our project file. So we have some build flags that we set that allow us to output a Silverlight 8.1 application. And then we also have some environmental variables that are inside the project that allow, allow us to pound define some, uh, some, some lines of code so it will still compile for 8.0. Cool. So if I find a bug in Messenger, how can I report it and will it get read? It, if you report a bug for Messenger, I can guarantee you will look at it. Uh, so inside the application, there's a report a problem mm -hmm. uh, link inside the menu, both when you're inside a conversation and when you're inside the main list. Mm -hmm. Every time we release is a really good example of when we use this. Uh, we have a product specialist that goes through every report that is, report that is given in the first 8 to 24 to 48 hours, oh, wow. and we categorize every single thing Every, every single report that's brought in into different buckets. Those reports, we look at like the top 20, for example, and try to find any bugs that people are seeing, mm -hmm. or even any like feature requests that are being requested. We, and then we use those when we're moving forward, planning out the next version. Uh, one more example on how we use that is, I have a graph on, on my daily dash, or my, my, I check it more than one time a day, mm -hmm. that lets me know how many times people are reporting something, a, a report with the word notif in it. So that's, that's a subset of notification or notify. Uh, and what that usually means is users are missing out on their notifications and they're missing messages. As soon as we see that, we know that there's something wrong with the application. It could be something on Microsoft's side or it could be something on our side. And so I go and check out those graphs and investigate it really quickly. But that, that we get on an almost like a minute to minute basis. And I watch it like a hook. That's great. So what can we expect out of the Messenger team in 2015? 
So I'll talk more about specifically Windows Phone. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing about Windows Phone right now is I use the application day to day. Mm -hmm. This is this is my main application. Uh, it's the application I use most, and I use it on Windows Phone. Every pain or every, every frustration that any other user is going through, I guarantee that I'm going through the same. Mm -hmm. When it comes to uh, performance, reliability, uh, and just the speed of getting in and out of the screens or in and out of the application, those are things that I really care about and I really want to focus on and improve moving forward. I want to be able to say when you get a message through Facebook Messenger, that you're able to tap on it, reply, and get in and out of the app really quickly and know that that message is going to be sent with like 100% confidence. Uh, so that's, that's the main focus. The second focus is obviously like adding more features. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are some features in the Android and iOS applications that are, don't exist in Windows Phone Messenger today. Uh, and the main reason is we've only, we only released the app about nine months to a year ago. And so I'm still looking to get some more of those features that are missing, mm -hmm. but also any new feature that we're working on internally uh, that I'm excited. And I pick those features based partly on what I think is like most important for our users but also a little bit greedily, I pick out some of the ones that I really want myself. Uh, one, one example is I really like the way you're able to take a, a photo inside the application using the little selfie window or the mm. camera window. That's my favorite feature, and so I was really happy to get that in the application earlier. All right, so I have to ask, what's your favorite sticker pack? <laughs> so my favorite sticker pack is Bun. I think it's really cute uh, and a little bit cheeky. One thing that some people don't know, or most people wouldn't know, is that people internal on the Messenger team have a, a little secret sticker pack that we have that is, is some of our faces imitating our favorite stickers. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I've got one imitating one of the bun stickers in there as well. And we like to send that around every now and then. Great, well thanks Nick, we appreciate you coming out. Thank you for having me. I'm really looking forward to what we'll be able to do with Messenger over the next year. Cool, well, if you have any other thoughts or questions, please comment below.